So I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction with my IM video this morning. Um, the reasons that I'm making these IM videos, there's several actually, but the main reason is that I need to find peace. I, the way that the world is right now can get a little bit overwhelming for me sometimes and I've been an angry, afraid person for most of my life, as long as I can remember, um, and I can get into reasons for all of that later, but right now, again, with the way that the world's going, I just really, really need to do everything I can to find peace. Um, I have a 20-year-old son and four doggos that count on me, so I need to be there for them. And I know that one of the things that um, all the teachers of helping you find self-awareness say is that a big thing is to try and help others. So I'm hoping that making these videos will not only help me, but they will help other people as well. Um, thankfully, well, thankfully, kind of, I guess about a, two years ago, I was working at a job, a government job that was, um, for the Department of Corrections, and I was extremely uh, unhappy in my position, and I applied for another position, which they didn't even read my resume, so I got really mad, and I told them I was going to quit, and I spent about a year trying to, my son and I researching, trying to find another place to live. And we found a place close to the ocean. I'm like a 10 minute drive from the ocean, which is awesome. So when I shoot these videos, I'm shooting them all new. But um, anyway, so I got a job and we sold our house and moved and bought a house. And then after about working at a job, the job for a year, I was laid off due to COVID, um, which is a little overwhelming as well because I'm having issues with the unemployment insurance, so I haven't gotten that yet, and I've been laid off since June 30th, but um, frankly, the job itself, it was very, very stressful. Um, I worked with a person, it was union, and the person that I worked with had been there three years. She's still there, by the way. But she was constantly calling in sick, and she was constantly, like, she would literally hang up on people rather than deal with the phone calls that she just didn't want to deal with. So it was very hard to work with somebody like that, knowing that if anything happened because of the way the union was, that I would go before her, which ultimately happened. So it was kind of a blessing, but then still, you know, at this point in time with the world the way it is, it could be a little scary. So I am making these I am videos. Um, I know that you still have to do the footwork, that just saying the words doesn't necessarily um, make things happen. However, it does make your outlook on things change, and it does... I mean, a better attitude, obviously, makes better things come for you. So, this is a journey that I'm on, and you are welcome to join me. Thanks for listening to my I Am video, which is coming up now. You are awesome. Welcome to my I Am recording. This is a very important part of my positive journey. I hope that you find something useful in my words. I begin each day with gratitude, grateful for all that I am, all that is my life. I am unafraid. I trust that life provides me opportunities to know my value, to utilize my gifts to the benefit of myself and others. My creativity and talents generate more than enough to live a more than comfortable life. I am prosperous. 
I am more than enough for any situation. I am valuable. I am value. I am tenacious. I take the steps necessary for my success. I am successful. I see clearly. I face each opportunity with an open heart and open mind. I am wise. I believe in my spirit. I believe in my soul. I am peace. I am aware. I am acceptance. Others people's opinions are not relative to my self-worth. I believe in myself. I am creative. I am resourceful. I am tenacious. I do not react negatively to others' anger. I have no room for anger in my life. I am peace. I am calm. I am safe. I stand tall, chin up, shoulders back, eyes open. I face each moment with clarity. I know my worth. I am healthy, body, mind, and soul. I love to move. I love to dance. I move through life with ease. My body and mind are strong. I am strength. I am more than enough for any situation. I am present. I am in every moment of every day. I love all that I am. I am perfect just as I am in this moment. I keep my mind strong with meditation and rest. I am aware there will be times of sadness. That is life. I allow myself to feel. I am balance. As the waves in the ocean are ever new, life is ever changing. I am growth. I flow with life. I am loose. I am unconfined. I am the creator of my life. Every thought I think creates my future. I achieve all of my goals. I am realistic. I celebrate this life 
I am compassionate and courageous. I am living my best life. I release the need for control. I understand that many times the only control I have is over my reaction to any given situation. I am acceptance. I am positive. I am optimistic. I take pride in my ability to understand the feelings of others. I see both sides of all situations. I am secure. I am a lifelong learner. Each moment and each day is an opportunity to grow. I am growth. I am vibrant. I am life. I love caring for my home. My home is safe. My family is secure. I feel success from the joy of others knowing that their success as my success is intertwined. We are all successful as one. The universe is vast. There is an abundance. We are all connected. And butterfly wings. I understand I do nothing from either dwelling on the past nor worrying the future. It is okay to look back. It is okay to look forward. You just should not live there. I am present. I am talented. The universe has given me talents unique to me. I use my talents and gifts for the benefits of my family as well as all who we touch. I am successful. I understand my body and mind need rest. I take time in the day to stop. I can be still. I enjoy the moment. I trust in the universe. I create my truth. My truth is peace. My truth is love. My truth is kindness. I am on my ultimate life journey, moving through life with a calm peace in my soul. My spirit soars. I am free. I am free to live my life in a way that creates peace. I am an amazing, successful, and creative soul. I believe in myself. I am all that I aspire to be. I choose happiness. I envision my best life, and I am living my best life. My life is filled with joy. 
I love to laugh. Laughter brings light to my soul. I am exquisite. I am more than okay. I rejoice in life. I rejoice in change. I am transforming each moment of each day. I am trusting. I am at peace with my decisions. There is no room for doubt. I am unconditioned. I am humble. Blessings to all. Hey, I just want to thank you for listening to my I Am video. And I want to tell you a little bit about myself and why I am doing what I am doing. Um, I came from an alcoholic family, so started drinking, drugging, everything that goes with it at the ripe old age of 12. I moved out at 15, was addicted to speed in my 20s, pretty heavy into meth for about 3 or 4 years. And about 27, 28, I decided I needed to stop. I was still very active in my alcoholism, though, all through my 30s. At 34, I met my son's father. And at 36, I became a mother. After three months of parenthood, my son's father decided that partying was more important than parenting. So he bailed, and I became a single mom. When my son turned seven, I things had gotten pretty bad, and I decided I was actually about ready to lose my house and decided it was time to sober up. So I got sober, and after two years of sobriety, I went back to school. I worked two jobs, went to school full-time, graduated with honors, earning my bachelor's degree. And the college advisor told me that my best bet would be getting a job for the government, which I had always been a proud truck stop waitress slash bartender. So working for the state was not something that I had actually considered, but she told me the benefits were great, so I did it. Um, I discovered, you know, I was unhappy for the whole 10 years. I discovered I'm a round peg that doesn't fit into a square hole or a square peg that doesn't fit into a round hole, but I'm not built for that kind of work. Um, my experience with it was that a lot of people I worked with, once they were past their probationary period, they quit doing anything but what they just had to do to get by. So there were people we were there to help, and they didn't do anything above and beyond to help them at all, and I am not built that way. Being a waitress, when you work off of tips, you go above and beyond to make people happy. So it's hard to go into a job where people do just enough to get by. Then that's what I found. That's how the people that I worked with were. I'm not blanketing that people are like that throughout the whole you know, government system, but that's how they were where I worked. And it almost broke me. Uh, my last job, I worked for about a year with a girl who literally would hang up the phone on people if she didn't want to deal with it. And she's still there, and I got let go due to COVID because she had been there longer than me. That said, I felt like I was ready to break, and now I'm going to focus everything I have on positivity. I just want to live, eat, and breathe positivity. I'm also very creative, so I'm going to continue to do my artwork, continue to do my I Am videos, submerge myself in positivity, and try to spread as much as I can to as many people as I can. So I join, I join, I welcome you to join me on this journey. I'm curious to see, I've dabbled in positive affirmations, now I'm curious to see if I submerge myself how far I get. Welcome to the journey. Blessing.